Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas, and I am thrilled to share with you the latest features and improvements Yolo Life has added to the Yolo Box Mini now with firmware 1.4. Let me walk you through some of the awesome new features in this update and tell you how they're going to benefit you. First up, the network bonding. Bonded internet connections are now available on the Yolobox Mini, just like the Yolobox Pro. This lets you have up to three separate connections to the internet over Wi-Fi, 4G cellular, and Ethernet. Then, with the technology on the Yolobox Pro and now the Mini, those three connections are bonded into one big reliable connection. What this means is that any trouble that might happen with one of your connections, like your internal cellular not getting enough data at a big soccer game with lots of people, the Yola box is able to shift to using the other connections and your stream continues to go through. Now, bonding relies on a dedicated server receiving these packets of video that may arrive out of order from across your three connections. The uh, debonding server, as I call it, puts the packets back in the order that you sent them and then sends them to your intended destination, just like YouTube or Facebook. Currently, Yolo Live has servers deployed in North America, servers in Japan and Korea for those in East Asia, servers in Frankfurt for those in Europe, and servers in Thailand and Singapore for those in Southeast Asia. Neighboring continents can still access this feature, however, they can't guarantee its effectiveness in all areas. Now, it's important to note that the physical debonding servers, the hardware, the power, the cooling, the maintenance, etc., all of this has a cost. But because Yola Live's network bonding is currently in beta, it is currently free to use. It will have a fee when it is officially rolled out and all the details are finalized. So, give it a try and see how well bonding works for you. Next up, video cropping and virtual inputs. This is a super handy feature that I use a lot on the Pro and now it's available on the Yolobox Mini. Video cropping gives you the ability to crop into a source with aspect ratios including 16 by 9 or 9 by 16 or some other aspect ratio. You can choose to replace the original video source with the cropped one or save the crop source as a new virtual input that is separate and additional to the original source. So not only can you have a wide and a close-up shot from the same camera, you could do what I do and you can lock multiple titles onto that cropped source and then turn all the titles on and off just by switching between the original camera source and the cropped or virtual camera source. This virtual camera and cropping capability really comes into play with the Mini, which has only one HDMI input, but now can easily become so much more. Did I mention locking those overlays to an input? Yes, that is a new feature for the Mini, as is the ability to name them. So if you have a dozen lower thirds, you know you can create all these graphics right in the YOLO box, right? If you have a dozen lower thirds and they all kind of look the same, you can name them, or you could number them, or you could use the alphabet, whatever works for you. This is how the YOLO box simplifies your live streaming. Another really useful feature that comes to the Mini is Instant Replay. A lot of people choose the Yola Box Mini for sideline sports because the Mini's compact size. It fits very nicely on top of the sideline camera, and with the built-in battery and internal cellular connection, it's the perfect solution for sideline sports. Now you can enhance your live sports productions with the power of instant replay. With the Yola Box Mini video replay, you can instantly review key plays in slow motion. You can preset the playback speed for slow motion, with or without sound, and then also predetermine how far back this instant replay will go. So after that big breakaway and goal, you can instantly tap replay and see it again in slow motion. If something starts to happen on the field, don't worry, because you can tap exit replay at any time 
and go back to the camera that you were using before the replay. This is just another amazingly intuitive new feature you'll only find on the YOLO box. Many people use the YOLO box for more than just one thing, and the YOLO box makes it easy to do this because it saves the settings for your shows, including video sources, your videos, PDFs, multi-views, background colors, titles, and more. It saves all of that so you can finish your soccer game in the afternoon and do basketball in the evening. Then the following weekend, create a new soccer game streaming event by duplicating the previous one, and those sources, titles, and layouts you spent time setting up are all ready for you to use again. When you are streaming to multiple platforms and people are commenting, the YOLO Box Mini makes it easy to bring in comments from multiple platforms into one tab so you see them all without having to check different platforms. It's all on one tab on the Mini now. The YOLO Box is all about making it easy to create great live streams. In addition to making things simpler, YOLO Live has also made your content look even better. Videos and GIFs can be used as backgrounds for multiviews, and this includes animated GIFs. And you can now set the border thickness and color for all of these multiviews. Other little tweaks include optimizing the remote guest feature so you can set the guest name. You can also use Audio Follows Video to make it easier to have a guest's audio come on when they are on screen and be turned off when they leave. The video quality has also been improved while switching. These are just a small set of the many features that the YOLO Box Mini puts in the palm of your hand.